Welcome! Today we will be presenting Applying to Cerritos College. My name is Adele and I'm a student ambassador here at Cerritos. I am majoring in elementary teacher education and my academic goal is to receive my associate's degree at Cerritos and then to transfer to Cal State University. So we'll go ahead and get started with our Applying to Cerritos College presentation. First, you want to go to our homepage www cerritos.edu. It will look like this page. Then you'll look on the right top hand corner for the yellow apply now box and select. If you can't see the box, we've enlarged it for you on the next slide. It's a big bright yellow apply now box and it's located next to our quick links tab right there. Then it will take you to the page. You want to sign in if you've already applied to any community college in California before or create an account if you have not. You're going to create your open CCC account if you have not applied to any other California community college. This is not applying to Cerritos College yet. This is just to open the portal to apply to community colleges in the California community college system. If you wanted to apply to other community colleges, you're going to use the same account, or if you've already applied to any of these schools, you're going to want to again sign into this account. This is what the screen will look like if you click to create an account from the previous page. Go ahead and click begin creating my account. To create an account, you have to input some personal information like your legal name, first name, middle name if you have one, your last name. Include a suffix if you have one. Click yes or no if you have a previous name or if you have a preferred name that is different from your legal and or previous name. And then you're going to input your date of birth. Because we are applying to Cerritos College and most of you will likely apply for financial aid, we are asking that you input your social security information. If you do have your social security information, go ahead and click yes and enter in that information. In the event you do not have a social security number, whether you are an international student, non-resident alien, are taking uncredited courses, or if you're an undocumented student, select no. Click the box right here which indicates to our system that you do not have a social security number or taxpayer identification number. It is perfectly fine to not have a social security number and you're still able to attend Cerritos College without one. Then, you want to enter your contact information. You want to use your personal email, not your high school email. Then, input your telephone number and check the box if you authorize text messages to the phone number and accept responsibility for any charges that result. Check the appropriate box whether your permanent address is in the state of California or if your permanent address is outside the United States. Select, I have no permanent address because I'm currently homeless if this applies to you. Add your permanent street address, city, state, and zip code. Now let's create a username and a password. Your username must be at least six characters that include letters, special characters, and at least one number. Your password needs to be seven to 20 characters that include letters, special characters, and at least one number. You want to be sure to record your username and password for later use and don't share your account with anyone. Then create a security pin, which is just a four digit number that you need to remember. Be sure to write down all this information down or take a photo of it. Please select your first and second security questions and add answers to both. You want to take a picture or write down the answers. It is very easy to forget the answers and questions, so it's important that you make note of that somewhere. Now you're going to click I'm not a robot and click create my account. When you get to this page, it means your account is created and you'll get your CCC ID, which stands for California Community College ID. You want to take a picture of your CCC ID or write it down and then click continue. We recommend that you keep this handy should you forget your username or password and if you get locked out of your account for whatever reason and call the California Community College Help Desk for help. 
you should have received an email from OpenCCC that looks something like this. Be sure to check your junk or spam folders as well. This does not mean you have applied to Cerritos College. When you click continue on the previous page, it should have sent you to the start a new application page, or it will ask you to log in to OpenCCC again. Log in if you need to and hit the blue start a new application button. Now that you're on the college application, you want to select the term you're applying for, summer, fall, or spring. Summer runs from May to July, and for Cerritos Complete Promise Program applicants, you want to apply for the summer session by February 28, 2022. The fall semester is August to December, and spring is January through May. You want to choose the educational goal that resembles what you would like to achieve. Then for your major, just for clarification, if your major has an AA after, it means you want to obtain an associate's degree at Cerritos College. If it has an AB after it, it means you want to transfer to a CSU or California State University. If there's AC after, you want to transfer to a UC or University of California. If you're unsure of the major, just select undecided AA slash transfer. And select C if you want to pursue a Certificate of Achievement, aka Career Fast Track Program. You can always change this later. If you would like to review your OpenCCC account information, you may do so by clicking the blue Review My Account button. If you need to make any changes, please do so. This is what it will look like when you have clicked on the blue Review My Account button. If you have inputted your social security number, you will not have the gold triangle. Once again, you are able to attend college even if you do not have a social security number. You will want to list your parent and or guardian information here. Please select the option that applies to you. If you selected none of the statements above is true to me, please fill out the information that has popped up on your screen. If your mailing address is the same as the one you provided for OpenCCC, you want to click Yes. If your address is outside the United States, just click this box and you will want to put the address that you currently have. Please select Continue when you are finished. Then we're moving on to the Education section. Your screen should look like this, and we are going to address each of these fields in order. If you'll be a first-time student in college after leaving high school, you want to select that. If you are a high school senior, you want to click Received High School Diploma from a U.S. School and fill out the accompanying information, such as your graduation date and that you have or will receive your diploma. Be sure to answer if you have attended a high school in California for three or more years. Please fill out the last school attended section. The drop down will let you choose your school and will autofill some information for you. Please fill out the high school transcript information to the best of your ability. It does not have to be 100% accurate, but please try to give it your best educated guess. If you have easy access to a counselor or your transcripts, these questions may be a little easier for you. Most new students will have to take the self-report tool as well, and that will place you in the classes that are most appropriate for you. If you are a U.S. citizen, go ahead and select the first option. If you're not, click Permanent Resident, Amnesty, Refugee, or the Student Visa option. Make sure you check before you make your decision because it will ask you for more information regarding on the status selected. If you're an undocumented student, you should select Other and then check your ability for AB 540. In some instances, Undocumented students may be classified as an in-state resident determined through the admissions application and won't need to submit a separate AB 540 form. So, if you have any questions regarding your eligibility or status, we recommend again clicking Other right here and then visiting our admissions and records or reach out via Zoom or email and they can help determine your eligibility. 
In the Military section, just feel free to answer by clicking the statement that applies to you. This is important because it helps determine your residency. So, if your parent or guardian has lived continuously in California since date shown, you want to select Yes. If no, then you want to ensure that you click any of these options if it applies to you. For example, if your parent or guardian pays taxes outside of California, you need to click that. If they are registered to vote outside of California, you need to click that. But otherwise, if none of these apply to you, feel free to click No, and you can leave these options blank. If you have been determined to be homeless by any of the agencies listed, or have been in court-ordered fostered care, you'll want to select Yes on the option that applies to you. If neither of the statements apply, please select No and choose Continue. This is our needs and interest pages, so this will help determine what services we can provide for you on campus. If you're comfortable reading and writing English, you would click yes, and if not, you would click no. Then our school would contact you regarding services that can help you become more comfortable with your English. We always recommend that students select yes. If you're interested in receiving information and support to pay for college regarding of where you are in high school, just graduated, or if you're an adult learner, because it will help you apply for scholarship and grants. If you're interested in joining athletic programs at Cerritos, you want to click yes or no if that's not for you. These are a list of programs and services we offer here at Cerritos College. So if you want to look for more information regarding these resources, we recommend searching the Cerritos College website. Here is the list of programs and services. If you'd like to know more about these, select the box next to it and you may receive additional information. You are not obligated to be part of any of these. It's optional, but could benefit you. Go ahead and click continue when you are done. Please answer each question in this section with which you identify. If you are not comfortable selecting an option, feel free to select decline to state. Cerritos College is proud of its diversity and welcomes people from all backgrounds. Please input the appropriate information for your parent or guardian education levels. This is so Cerritos College is aware of the population we are serving. If you are Hispanic or Latino, choose yes or no, and then select your race and ethnicity and click all that apply. Please click continue when you are all done. If you have been previously enrolled in Cerritos College at any point, including dual enrollment, then you want to input your seven digit ID number. If you haven't, just leave it blank. Please fill out the personal information portion to the best of your ability. Please answer the personal information questions to the best of your ability. Here is a list of intercollegiate sports we have at Cerritos. Please fill out this information to the best of your knowledge. If you plan on receiving your high school diploma prior to starting your first semester at Cerritos, select High School Diploma under High School Certification. Estimate your cumulative GPA in high school and indicate your high school graduation year. Please select the appropriate answers for the military portion of the application. You're almost done. You want to select yes or no if you give the college permission to release your directory information. If you're not sure how to respond, select no, and then you can inquire after with a Cerritos College counselor. For the admissions application confirmation, you want to check both of these boxes if true and type your name below. Here, these questions ask if you understand and certify the statements made in the application are true and accurate. Please be sure to read the statement before checking these boxes. Now you want to review your application just in case you made any mistakes. So you're going to click Review My Application. If you are receiving assistance and would like to review the application, feel free to ask for help. If you'd like a counselor to review it, feel free to have them review it. This is available through PDF to share, should you choose. Then you'll click Consent or Do Not Consent to release information. 
This is entirely your decision, but it does allow Cerritos College to communicate with other colleges easier when it pertains to you. Please read the full paragraph, then make your decision. When you submit your application, you have the opportunity to check both of these options that you filled this application out to the best of your ability and that it is accurate. Once you have checked those boxes and reviewed the information on this application as correct, you want to click the Submit My Application button. And then when this pops up, you're done! And if it does not, that means your application was not submitted. It's just going to confirm that this is the term applied for, and when you applied for Cerritos College, you'll receive your student ID within 72 hours. We recommend that you regularly check your inbox and your spam slash junk boxes just in case. Your student ID is very important for the next enrollment steps, so please be sure to record it once you receive it. Congratulations! You're going to Cerritos College! Thank you for learning more about applying to Cerritos College, and I hope this was helpful. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to email welcomecenter at cerritos.edu. Thank you again, and we hope to see you soon at Cerritos College!